guys. Um, I wanted to do an update. Today is officially two weeks since I've owned my Grand Designs Imagine XLS 22 MLE. Um, some things I've learned. I'm also glad I had this time to kind of learn about the RV. A lot of people buy them and they just kind of like go straight away places. I wanted to get to know it, potential issues, all that stuff. Um, I spent a lot of time reading this manual and rereading it. Like for instance, you can't use regular toilet bowl cleaner and brushes in the toilet. I didn't know that. So that's interesting. You have to use special ones. Um, also organization, like, you know, this is a mess. There's just like stuff everywhere. Like this cabinet is actually 30 inches deep and this is only a little over 10 inches wide. So I need something deep, might have to make something to pull it out. So that needs to be organized. This is kind of like my junk drawer for now. A lot of things I want to get through. So issues, you know, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups and there's so many complaints about build quality and it's like, Jesus, you hope that the 90% that aren't having issues aren't posting, but it's kind of scary. So I've only had a couple really small issues so far. I kind of went over this thing with a fine tooth comb because of what everybody was talking about. First thing, and this is ugly, but I'll have to fix it later. This trim piece was not attached. There's three screws and they were just like free spinning in there. So I had to move the screw completely. I don't know if you can see that. So there's this ugly hole. I had to do that on two of them. Um, you can't really see it like when you're here, but I know it's there. So I, I'm going to get some filler or something. And then this piece of trim was off. So once I got it back on, it was kind of wedged in that corner. It's fine. The other thing, the bathroom shower is not caulked right here. I haven't used it yet, but I'm going to caulk that just out of peace of mind. Everything else works great though. The water, haven't used the fridge yet. A tip I just learned, I need to get some more supplies. This is why I also haven't gone anywhere yet. I just want to know my camper in and out before I go anywhere. Apparently these um, electric or propane fridges like to be really, really level before you use them. And this trailer is not, it's on kind of level ground, but not really. So um, I'm gonna get some Anderson leveling ramp things and make sure it's really level before I turn that on. My backsplash is held up, which is amazing. I'm surprised. Oh, and the bathroom one, look great. All right, let's go outside and I'll show you the second issue I have had. So this is my view, our racetrack. It's kind of cool. All right. Oh, these are cool too. I've talked about these in another video. These help with stabilization. There's Fred. Say hi, Fred. Fred just roams around 40 acres. He does whatever he wants. He's awesome. Got my little Camco leveling blocks. Another important tip. Do not actually put weight on these. Just like um, put it on so it's touching and then a tiny bit tighter. I was told to not raise or lift with the scissor jacks. All right, issue number two. This little fitting, it seems to be dry now, had like a slow drip. And I told them at the dealer when I picked it up and they said, yeah, they tightened it and they didn't, whatever. <laughs> um, so I took it all the way off. It's a one and one eighth socket size and tightened it. I don't want to over tighten it because it is, I don't know if you can see, it is plastic. But so I'm gonna leave this panel open and just see if anything else is leaking. Um, I've had my slide out for two weeks as well. And once in a while I go up on a ladder and just make sure like stuff's not accumulating up there. But all in all, it seems, oh, there's my spare tire cover. Seems pretty good. I am extremely happy with this thing. And it doesn't even feel real that it's mine. Um, so stay tuned. I will be doing some more videos on some stuff that I've bought and hopefully soon venture out somewhere. Fred's favorite spot in the shade. Thanks for watching.